Welcome to video number two, getting started with MLE Plus. First, I will show you how to get access to MLE Plus. Go to the website that appears on the screen. Here you can find information about how to use this toolbox. It also includes an online tutorial that you can follow to get started using it. You can download MLE Plus from the GitHub repository by following the, this link. Download the latest version of MLE Plus on your computer. You can extract the zip file to a folder. Call this file MLEP. We will refer to this file in the tutorials. The distribution comes with a tutorial you can follow to get started using MLE Plus as well as sample projects. The MLE Plus folder contains all the sources, all the source files to get MLE Plus running on your computer. Now I will walk you through the installation. To run MLE Plus you need to have installed previously Energy Plus 7.1 as well as Java. Open MATLAB if you haven't yet. Go to the MLEP folder you just downloaded. There you will find the MLE Plus folder. Go into this folder run the install MLEP file as shown in the video. This program will trigger the installation procedure. It will automatically add the necessary directories to your path and save them. First select the Energy Plus installation main folder as demonstrated here. Also select the Java binaries directory. and finally overwrite the original Energy Plus bash file. MLE Plus requires this to ensure the output files from the Energy Plus are safe in a folder called Outputs. Also, the new file makes sure the MATLAB files with extension that MAT are not erased. You will mostly work with the graphical front end of MLE Plus which provides a standard workflow and an easy-to-use interface for developing and implementing control algorithms for building systems. To start the front-end, type the command MLEP from the MATLAB command line. We will show you in detail how to use this front-end in our next video. The MLE Plus front-end is organized in tabs. The Start tab contains a workflow diagram of the entire control design process. It also lets you select the Energy Plus file and the weather file. The next tab is the System Identification tab. Here you can specify random inputs and package the resulting data for model estimation. The Control tab lets you select the input and output cost simulation variables and allow you to design your controller in MATLAB. The next is the Simulation tab, where you can run the cost simulation and visualize the results. And finally, the BACnet tab provides communication with real building equipment for control deployment. 